what's going on. So today what I got is a quick review for the IQ Shield screen protector for the OnePlus 3. Now this is a liquid application, so it's a bit different than normal application. But let's see how it goes. This is what you get in the box. Need that this is the liquid formula. This is just the soap. We have a little um microfiber cloth. Clean up your screen. IQ shield. Yeah, and then squeaky. Don't need that. If you can watch your installation videos, they have a bunch of devices, just in case, including the OnePlus 3, so. We have, this is the actual screen protector. Well, yeah, yeah, you can see it there. Now, I believe this is the best fitting one for the OnePlus 3, at least to my knowledge. So, let's try and see how it works. Please first turn off your phone. That's pretty clean. So now that that's clean, love it. You just want to make sure that everything's wet, especially with the wet installation. This works. For a lot of force because it does stretch and that'd be nice make sure your fingers are wet again i just do three squirts oh and then you should just set it and it should move so just while you can make sure you align it properly good Probably if, you, if it's a little hard to move, just pull it back and add a few more drops of water. That's why you gotta want to make sure that your phones off, especially on phones that are not IP certified. So you just want to move it around until you get it just right. Looks good. You should be able to just take out the rest of the water.
clean the install bar. Feels pretty good. The filament's great. Oh, I feel like I did have a dust particle in there. Yeah. That's a bummer, but, um, that's definitely going to stay in there. No, let me see. Let me see if that was one from a ways to Let's spray a little liquid for the formula. I don't recommend doing this, I might have just ruined this thing, so, but I am very picky. Mm, actually worked, worked up pretty nice. Okay guys, so I let the phone dry for about three hours now, so this is the final um, product and it looks very good actually. The fitment is very precisely cut out, as you can see, sorry about that, very nice, speaker grill, camera, everything's good. So yeah, this is definitely worth the eight dollars that it costs in the US um definitely very good I recommend it and um yeah if you like the video and would like to see more reviews you got me up with pressing like and if you like it subscribe if not that's fine I understand thank you